Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And in this video, I am going to be taking on this godforsaken flan-looking monstrosity in Dimensions and Transcendence Tier 4 Crucible 1. And I am going in with Team Waifu, I am going in with Yuna, Tifa, and Iroha, uh, with a brother summon. And only one of these characters is not one of my favourite female characters in Final Fantasy. Of course, I have never played FF11, so Iroha, you're going to be have to uh, you're going to have to be left out in the cold here, I'm afraid. Uh, but I, I pretty much love of all of these characters as characters, and I also love how they function in Opera Omnia as well, and it just so happens that they are very well suited to how this quest works. Um, my, of course, rationale here being that I wanted to bring along Yuna, because this is pretty much the Yuna node on the Crucible 1, because you need a white crystal character, and the Luffy orb for this guy is to cleanse debuffs. Um, so, of course, that is pretty much what Yuna is there for, uh, among many, many other things. Um, and yeah, I'm going to bring in this team. So my thought, my thinking was, I'm going to bring along Iroha because her LD effect is amazing, and it's going to help out Tifa like quite a lot, um, and also Tifa quite a lot as well because uh, Tifa relies on bravery gains as well and has multiple HP dumps. Um, so basically, you know, they, they just go together very, very well. I've got some pretty standard call abilities, just focusing on HP damage here because I, I have uh, I have the gains for uh, for it to substitute for brave shaving, and we have enough shaving anyway. I've got Shantoto over here because she does drop defense by 100% and also because she paralyzes which is incredible um, because it stops this thing from doing whatever the hell it does when you kill the two minions I never had to find out um, so let's uh, let's dive into it shall we so with this team it is a very offensive team lineup and I pretty much like to get the ball rolling almost immediately uh, and to just get straight into the action, as it were. Um, okay, so, uh, for um, here, of course, I'm not going to be able to, uh, I'm not going to be able to get up uh, Iroha in the slightest uh, before Tifa takes her first turn, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, we'll be fine. It is what it is. It's pretty weak um, to begin with. So it gives, uh, gives us a nice uh, 800k there. Uh, I'm going to pop Kurasame, but only the primary, only the, the 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 skill one call for Kurasame for right now because I'm going to pop his LD when we're due to go into the burst phase, um, or when I actually need to refresh the debuffs. That might actually also be a good idea. For now, let's just get up the LD. And of course, as you can see, we have this absolutely, like, absurdly awkward turn order, which is not something anyone wants to see. Um, and we do have a frame debuff on Tifa, so I'm basically going to be, I'm going to be storing up some of these debuffs as kind of like commodities, right? Because even though having them active does diminish how effective unit is, um, it also allows us to increase the orb pretty much whenever we want. Uh, but I am going to have to do that, like with energy nova pretty much straight away here um, but it's pretty much a running theme throughout the fight you've got these two flans on the side and what they will actually do is they have a recast ability um, that will inflict debuffs on you it is blind and hex which is kind of awful to have but nonetheless yuna will suffice to get rid of it uh, now then i am going to pop my crystal 65 because i have no good reason not to and we can just go straight into this stuff. Well, Yuna's defense is, uh, is, is really up there, huh? Okay, so I can just do a throttle here, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the standard freaking Tifa rotation, and we won't have to think too hard about it, or worry too much about it. Can probably sneak in another beat rush here. Indeed, I can. Um, and at this point, I mean, we have different levels of Kurosame debuffs, uh, but to be honest, this is looking good enough for me to just jump straight into the burst. Uh, and we will, yeah, we'll, we'll have some fun. So I do have this, this nasty little debuff on the side here, um, and I am going to be getting rid of that before the burst goes away, so I might as well get rid of it at the start. So we do as much damage as we can. Uh, 
And then, yeah, just going to be a very, very simple matter of spamming my HP attack here. And then comes the finisher. No near as much damage as it could do, but still a healthily large enough number. Definitely could be seeing some high numbers from that, but it's all good. It is what it is. And of course, what are we to do with Iroha but use our free additional ability whenever possible? Okay, so B is going to pelt us with a debuff, so we might as well do what we do while uh, Tifa's uh, Tifa Yuna's burst effect is active and just kind of milk it for as much as it's worth. So we can spam we can spam a few battle cries here. In fact, I don't think I even need to really refresh the buff on Tifa. Um, that does incredible. You know, I, don't, I don't think I really need to refresh the um, the EX buff. To be honest, I can probably just B rush. In fact, you know what? No, let's do a let's do one of these. And this is going to do well over a million, or not well over, but just barely over a million, which is which is still nice to see. Because here we get the awful, awful debuffs with this guy. And that is a blind, and the only way to get rid of this. Oh, yeah, cannot gain brave. Increases brave and HP damage taken. Okay, so that is absolutely terrible. So I am not even going to bother trying to do anything other than a HP attack with that. Oh, cannot gain brave is just bravery gain, isn't it? It's um, which is still kind of awful uh, for someone like uh, like Tifa, for example. So I am absolutely going to give this a salvation scythe here to get the summon up and the defense debuffs. Um, and yeah, I think I'm I'm literally just going to. Uh, Go straight into the summon here. Let's get that buff back up with uh, with your girl Tifa. Um, and it's completely missing the process. That is always something you love to see happen. Nicely cleansed here. Definitely not going to pass up on the opportunity to get in a good EX. Damn, that is almost cap damage on that EX. That is lovely to see. Uh, and of course, um, there's no point using this full throttle during the summon. We might as well just use Beat Rush. It's going to be a launch and a half. And it's already over halfway dead. <laughs> 1.53 million. No uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, okay, so. This is pretty much where we are. This is the state of play. No reason not to use a pull of Tifa's awesomeness while we've got Yuna's burst effect going on, and it is paralyzed anyway. So, yeah, we just we're just absolutely uh, making the most of this of this period while we can. 
You know what? Let's uh, let's squeeze out a few more uh, skill twos while we can, shall we? Unable to act due to Ruin's Curse, so that is because it's been paralyzed, that is Shantoto coming in clutch, um, but it's about to wear off pretty soon, by which I mean straight after this turn. Oh, Generate Body, that's what it does. I've never had this happen before. Um, it's probably going to die anyway, I can, I can only hope so. Oh god, it didn't it didn't die. I hope we're safe. Uh we're We're alive and we don't um Okay, it is quite literally all on this next uh this next attack. But I think we're I think we're gonna be fine. I think the launch should be enough. If it's not then rip me, I guess. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Not the most graceful finish, and we were about like one turn away from getting nuked by the Luffy Orb, but a win is a win. So, there's Crucible 1. Uh, I got a slightly higher score than last time, despite having taken 23.8 thousand fucking HP damage. Alright, there we go. That is my run of Crucible 1 with scuffed as hell artifacts on uh, on the Iroha over here. But a win is a win. Um, as always, I am going to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, and goodbye.